Live from Los Angeles, welcome to Good Morning La La Land. I'm Dr. Aaron. Hi, I'm Rob Mack. And I'm Jess Moye. This is Good Morning La La Land, America's first live streaming daily talk show coming to you live Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. Also available on Apple TV and Roku via the EverTalk app. It is Wisdom Wednesday, Wealth Wednesday, Wisdom Wednesday. We're going to talk about having no regret, living on purpose, goal diggers in the house. Uh oh. Gold diggers. Gold like diggers. That. <laughs> okay. We're going to get to know the truth and live on spiritual principle, align with universal law, and live on purpose. That's Love right. It. And we have a ton of gold diggers as guests. This morning on Good Morning All, and a very special one we're excited to welcome to the studio for the first time, David Osman. Good morning, David. Buenos dias. Woo! Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, we were just serenaded by an Osman. Oh, yeah. By the way, Done. can we one take a One show a day. One show a day. <laughs> How are you guys? Oh, we're so grateful you're here, Helen. All the way from your studio in New York from Wonderama, what brings you to Los Angeles? This is where all the cool kids hang out, right? Actually, I came out to visit my aunt, Marie Osmond. She's on the CBS as the talk, and it was her 60th birthday, and they got together with my dad and his, his brothers, the original Osmond brothers, celebrating 62 years, and they got together one last time to sing a song my dad wrote to celebrate Marie. And it was, it was a family reunion. It was fantastic. It was awesome. awesome. So while I'm out here, I had to stop by and, and see you guys and see what's going on here. This Osmond family sounds so familiar. <laughs> Why? You're not so old strange. enough to know who the Osmonds are. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, my mom is swooning. Well, we're so grateful you stopped by our studio. We know we've invited you in the past, but there was a very special reason why you weren't able to join us, and we met them on the red carpet. Let's take a look. The best dressed family on the red carpet. Oh my God. So, so I don't know if you got my message. I couldn't come in this morning. You know why? Why? I'm at the Burbank Airport picking up the most beautiful women in the world. Oh, wow. My lovely Thank wife, you. Valerie, <laughs> and our daughter, Saffron, whose birthday it is. We're celebrating. Happy birthday, Saffron. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, the gift I got for her, as we just worked it out, I think in presenting some awards, one of the awards, we're going to be able to get Saffron on stage, and she's going to open the envelope. And what is she going to say? And the, um, and the Emmy goes to... Two? Adele Dezim, no. Uh, <laughs> so, and thank you guys for all you do. They're up every morning, five oh, days a week, doing their thing. <laughs> oh, that's uh, awesome. The best. Right? You have the yeah, best looking family so ever. Cool. Really beautiful family. I feel like everyone's beautiful from Utah. There's like this. <laughs> I was in the water over there. <laughs> well, we'd love if you wanted to share a very special message to your family this morning from Good Morning All End. You're welcome to. He's speechless. He's speechless. Oh, speechless. I thought you were talking to each other. Well, I, I am speechless because I get to fly back in just about two hours to see my family. I haven't seen them in a while. Oh. And they are my rock, my, my, my everything, my pride and my joy. And, and Saffron and Azalea, I have an, uh, an eight-year-old daughter, and as well as a, a four-year-old son, Everest. We love and it. Well, on Good Morning La La, we ask how you start your day. We'd love to know how you start your day with your family in Utah. Well, it's a little bit crazy the, with school, and they go, the kids go to an amazing school where they just love it. They get up they, themselves, and they're just ready to go. So we're making sack lunches. We're doing the carpool thing, and we always, we, music is prevalent. We're always playing music and singing and dancing and starting the day off right together. We always have a family prayer together, and we, we, we celebrate the blessings that we have and are grateful for what we have. And, oh, awesome. and I watch these kids, and they're... They're, they're just amazing. They, they, I learn from them more than anything. And what's, what's cool about having kids myself, being a dad, is, is I, I, I feel like I'm a big six-year-old. So I relate with them in so many ways. And then also to, to have part of my job to, to be part of a kids' TV show and work with kids as well, where I get to bring my kids and be part of this really crazy show called Wonderama, which is awesome, run every single weekend. And it's, it's just a party where these kids are entertaining kids a show about kids, for kids, by kids, and I get to be kind of the big brother and watch what happens. And my kids are my barometer of, okay, what's working? Are they interested? Are they engaged? Mm -hmm. You know, when there's messy games and pies in the faces and dance groups and, and singing groups and cooking segments and explosions with science experiments, uh, I, I see them come alive and interact with, with truly wonder. And, and, and it's, it's awesome to be a part of uh, this show business element where we can educate through entertainment. You know oh. what I mean? 
Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being with us today, David. We look forward to continuing the conversation later in the show. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Such a sweet. I know. I gotta say, I think women do run the world, but kids definitely come in close second, <laughs> right? They have to. I mean, it's unbelievable. Kids definitely they do. Run the they do. <laughs> for sure. So, so how are you guys? What's going on? Fantastic. Enjoying this Wednesday. I'm glad you remember or remind me of what day it is because I have no idea. I don't ridiculous. I don't remember till like one second before I'm like, what day is it? Yeah. <laughs> right. Wednesday. So Wednesday. speaking of, I woke up this morning, I had this beautiful voice message from one of my ambassadors. And you know what sometimes you like we all question ourselves and question like what we're up to sometimes and I woke up kind of like, oh, you know, okay, another day, 4 a.m., let's do this, you know? And um, she had this beautiful message of, uh, she's been working with me for less than a year now, and watching this woman's life transform has been such a gift to witness it. But, um, you know, one of the things that we really, I really was thinking about was Wednesday, and how really, it's about, we talk about career and money a lot, and yeah. how, how the shift is, you know, living a life of truth. She said that when she heard my podcast years ago, I said three words that changed her life, which was live your truth. And she knew in her gut she wasn't living her truth. Yeah. And she knew that she had to do something about it. And so I think that that's really the, the paradigm we're going through in, in our careers is really going, are we really doing what we truly want to do versus what the culture's told us, mm. what we're doing to keep up with the Jones? I don't know. You guys are definitely living your truth for yes. sure. Amen to As that. As are you. Yeah, oh, yeah very, for sure. I mean, you've got it on your wrist there. I mean, literally. <laughs> so. Right. <laughs> so for you guys, how did you know when you when you decided? I know for you it was when you were Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was through depression and suicide. I mean, honestly. Yeah. It was like, oh, I don't think this is probably the right path. I feel miserable mm. and I want to kill myself. So that was a pretty good indication good that indi like not the life I was truth. living was probably not in line with yeah. you know, my deeper mm -hmm. truth for sure. What about you, Jess? Well, I always knew that this was my passion and my purpose and I got distracted with fashion for a long time, but it gave me a certain expertise, if you will, uh, in a way to empower myself, in a way to empower my <laughs> audience and, and my followers and friends. But I really realized I was craving stability that this lifestyle didn't usually provide. When you're gig to gig and la la land, you really want that stability. So then I started going just for the money, just for the stability. And I was so unhappy. Mm -hmm. I was so unfulfilled. And then when I thought, you know what, if I just put my faith back in myself, bet on myself that I can do this, the doors will open, I will be taken care of. And lo and behold, I was. Mm -hmm. But it was really interesting because I, I definitely felt that when I was craving something that I wasn't finding in that, I pursued something that wasn't right for me. Right. And it didn't fit. It's so like true. putting on a bad dress. You're like, right. oh, this yeah, just doesn't does, work yeah. for right. me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wrong size or something. Yeah. Um, it always, I think always doing it, uh, it's kind of maybe it sounds a little sick, but uh, a death meditation, meaning yeah. that if you really imagine yourself on your deathbed, what would you regret, you know? And so the five top regrets of the dying are, number one, wish I had the courage to have lived true to myself, really living the truth. Number two is wish I hadn't worked so hard. Yeah. Number three was wish I had the courage to express my feelings. Number four is wish I stayed in touch with my friends. And number five was wish I'd let myself be happier. Mm, love and that one. I mean, this is the master. I gotta be honest, I feel like that's the only one you need to know. <laughs> the go. rest of them fall underneath right, that. It's true, right? how do you, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's, kind of weird. Sort of that yeah. Yeah. it's so, such such a shame that there's so much guilt around happiness and mm. joy, especially in our American culture. I have friends that are like, oh, I went out and I had so much fun. I should have been at home and I should have been working. And it's like, what, what, wait? Yeah. You're supposed to enjoy your life. Now yes. we have, now we have so guilt true. if we're not happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm tired. These, these minds are like happy, they're like misery creating machines. I mean, they uh, manufacture misery all day. And it's a good point around yeah. the guilt and uh, the anxiety sometimes you feel when you're experiencing a lot of happiness because mm -hmm. you're kind of sometimes waiting for the other shoe to drop or you feel like on some level you have to earn or deserve happiness. And I think that's sort of the flawed premise underneath it all is that happiness is something that you earn. But kids know that it's not something you earn, it's just something you deserve. Right? Right? Let's yeah. go back to being that. Let's, I go, know. let's go to Utah and we'll, we'll move <laughs> <with> the <laughs> Happiness over money. I'm sure money. they love that, yeah. Well, let's take a break. We come back and talk to our amazing guests about how they have grown so wise. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs> Can you watch the stories of people changing the world? EverTalk TV, the Netflix of talk. I'm Jez Moyer, the co-founder and host of EverTalk TV, and I am thrilled to introduce you to America's first live video streaming talk show network. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here on the couch with all you amazing people. Yeah. I'm just in complete awe. Thank you. So happy to be here. And for those who don't know what goes on, there is, this is a big old, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> a lot you going do this on every here. day. 
Why? God Why bless you guys. Are? I mean, people, there's a lot going on. Thank you for having me. This is an awesome studio. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, you I have... feel that. I yes. feel You're that. Cool. How exciting. Motivation Monday. You know? And the guests this morning have been incredible. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here with you. And we have Rachel Boston, who is in The Last Bridesmaid on Hallmark. It actually is dropping tomorrow, the 22nd, right? It is. Tomorrow night's our premiere. Woo! Wow. Congratulations! I am so excited to welcome Jason and Ashley Waller to the show. Congratulations on the new beginnings. We're so excited for the premiere on MTV tonight. Thank you guys. guys. We appreciate it. Thank so. you. The book is actually being shipped out today. It published this what? week. Oh, congratulations. congratulations! You guys are Super the cool. first show oh, that awesome. I've actually done <laughs> on talking you. about the book. I think this is my first time my book's been up on TV. This is awesome. <laughs> our friends at Universal Pictures have a special delivery for us this morning from a tethered himself Ooh. at the scene of the film Us by oh Academy Award winner gosh. Jordan Peele. You know, I'm sitting here next to you guys and it's just like, this is a powerful moment for me. Like, you know, I'm, I'm humbled by it because it's like, I'm sharing this movie with you guys and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's moving for me. Mm. What are you most grateful for today? I am so grateful to be here and to have the opportunity to be with all these wonderful, badass boss babes <laughs> um, and with all of you. And it's just a wonderful opportunity to share the positive messages out in the world because I think the world really needs it right Amazing. now. What we've done and thanking me for the contribution we're making to their lives. Oh, and I nice. Thought, That's this great. is what my purpose is. This is why I was born. Now show the camera. Up to you to choose the winner. Is it Annie? Is it Haley? That's why I like the show. You know, years ago I did the Dinah show, which is Dinah Shore, and it was a daytime show. And it was kind of like this. It was just like very up and it was all positive stuff. They didn't bring uh, negative stuff to, to the audience. And that's why I feel with this show. It's very relaxed. You know, it's very professional, but it's, it's quite a bit of fun. You can binge watch and binge watch. You can binge watch. And you can binge watch. Binge watch or you can binge watch. Please binge watch. You can binge watch and binge them on EverTalk TV. Thanks for coming. Bye. Mm. First time of the experience. I'm so happy to do it with you. Anytime, anywhere, on EverTalk TV, your home for talk. Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning, Lala. It's a Wonder Rama Wednesday. We've got the Osmond. Hey, in the yes, house. look David, at you. Boom, baby. David just one Osmond of the million. Osmond is in the house. I mean, Wow, you were singing in between the break. We I know. Just for, we're not we said we're going to sing together, guys. Let's get a quartet going. Let's I, do it. I'm better at watching and listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Rob. You two can take it I away. I'm the worst singer ever. What? But it's just controlled yelling. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's controlled a little bit. You guys, zero control. Okay, okay. So we want to hear a couple things. One, we yeah. want to hear about your show, Wonderama. Okay. And then we just heard that you have a 16-person band. Yeah, it's great. Well, I grew up in the, in the, in the family business of yeah. music before I knew it was even even a business. Yeah. My dad is the oldest of this performing family that they've mm -hmm. been singing for 62 years. So I just thought every kid's dad did show business and so I was on tour and sang and performed. So I just love music and that's really my foundation mm -hmm. is as a singer and performer. But with the kids TV show, uh, this we've done four seasons where it's airing now every single weekend. 52 weeks here, it's called Wonderama like you mentioned mm -hmm. and we film in New York and it is just like the craziest, coolest, funnest show 
ever. Let's because there's so much variety. Oh. And I grew up around variety shows with Donnie and Marie right? and my dad and everything. Yeah. And we incorporate a lot of that energy, but this is kids entertaining kids. And I get to kind of be the fly in the wall, the big brother, and let them just kind of take it over with music acts and dance groups and explosions with science experiments, but a lot of messy games and prizes. And this ki these kids, 100 kids in the audience every episode, they just go wild. Wow. But uh. the cool thing about the show is it's a brand that ran back like 30 years, 50s, 60s, and 70s. We brought it back for a new generation, and it's it's going very well. So cool. Well, you are the perfect host to lead all of this madness. Let's take a look. Yeah. Welcome to Wonderama. Let us entertain you. His amazing talent landed him on Ellen. He was a Golden Buzzer winner from America's Got Talent. Christian Martino! Over a billion views on YouTube. Mr. Wit and Mayday. Come watch me well. No, it's game time on Wonderama. And doggone it, this game can get rough. It's like musical chairs, but this is pie. We got some cool science gonna happen right now. This is really dangerous. What we're gonna do. No way! She's worked with NASA, and guess what? She's only 14. Man. So what? Oh, oh! One of the things we love to do is find some of the best chefs in the world. It's awesome. When I see wonder, you see Rama. Wonder, wonder. When I see wonder, you see Rama. Wonder, wonder. See you guys. Hey. Oh my God. So I have to ask. I have a dream job. You do. Did you cool. come up? This or how did they go, you know what, this is what we want you to do? No, uh, yeah, I met a good buddy of mine, Chuck Armstrong, who found the brand, because it was way before my time, but did exist. Chuck. Chuck, no. thanks buddy, <laughs> thanks man. Yeah. Uh, but it's it, it started years ago, the 50s, 60s, and 70s, okay. and it was a staple for kids, uh, shot out of New York, that's why we filmed there, it's back home. And now these kids that have their own kids yeah. are, are introducing their kids back to the brand of Wonderama. They were, I mean, it, it really was a, a game changer. The Jackson 5 debuted on American television on Wonderama. You know, Muhammad Ali would come on and fight Joe Frazier before the big fight, but they'd play marbles, you know? <laughs> or Kiss, or Evil Knievel. So it, it, it's a very cool interactive, it's an EI compliant education information. So we really try to inspire kids that they, they can you know, live in wonder and never lose that sense of it. this show, though, specifically inspired you? Well, I, I'm a big six-year-old, so <laughs> I, it, it, I love to see kids come alive. And whether we're featuring people like, you know, Salento will come on, Whip and Nene, but, or we find, <laughs> but if we find like a bluegrass band of 12-year-olds out of Louisiana that nobody's ever heard of and give them a chance to showcase and then watch these kids be inspired by the talent that comes in, but also, you know, uh, kids that are, are scientists and doing, doing things that are incredible. Uh, I get to watch my kids, and they're my barometer about what's working, you know. Mm -hmm. if, if they're tuned in and they're glued, I know this is really, really cool, and, and inspire them to be their best selves. You know, one of the things I love most about you um, and the show is not only the, the infinite talent, but also the incredible energy that you always bring. Like, whether it's at the Emmys or whether it's just out in the street or whether it's here, you yeah. always have this incredibly uplifting, inspiring, like, positive energy. Thanks, is Rob. that just the way you've always been? Is it something you've had to cultivate? I mean, where does that come from? I appreciate that. Yeah. I'm, I'm high on life, and I'm, I'm blessed beyond measure. I, uh, we all have challenges, we all have struggles, and I certainly have mine. And you know, life, it's not just rose-colored glasses. I don't just throw a smile on and put a face on. I really appreciate every step. Uh, I, 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 for example, I battle with a challenge called multiple sclerosis. Mm -hmm. I was diagnosed uh, 13 years ago. And believe it or not, uh, when I was diagnosed, I was in a wheelchair and from the chest down in a state of paralysis. And for a better part of a year, I couldn't even walk or do anything for myself. The fact that I'm, if you don't believe in miracles, you gotta believe in one today, guys, because you're looking at one. And I have, I actually have crushing, burning pain every second of the day, but I'm walking. And I drove a car in here today. And so if I'm smiling a little bigger than average, because man, I, today's a good day. That's incredible. Thank yeah. you for being so vulnerable and, and yeah. sharing your truth and your story. Thanks. We know that you recently had a very powerful interview with Nancy Davis, who also yes. struggles with multiple sclerosis. She's amazing. On her new show on Ever Talk Peace and Love. Let's take a look. When I grew up, my dad had MS, primary progressive. So you, but even you could pronounce it. <laughs> yes, I knew, I knew the name, but still the education that I needed, even once I got diagnosed, was, has been vastly changed in my own life and so I hope to be able to through what my experiences are and through what my platforms to 
just let people know a little bit more about what it does, how it affects the central nervous system, how it stops people from moving. You're very blessed, by the way, and your wife is uh, so admirable and so <laughs> wonderful because she sees the big picture and she's a good person. Um, she's a saint. Not everybody is, so she gets uh, the big award for just <laughs> being so loving and kind and loving, loving, yeah. loving the real you. We have our family prayers every day, and every day my beautiful kids say, and please bless Daddy and help take his MS away. Man, no. you know, I'm, I'm turning into like, Aww, I'm sorry. I get this from my dad too. I know, but I know. But I remember as a kid, he would kind of mentor me and encourage me. And I remember him saying, as he put his hands on my shoulders, David, you're going to go through tough things, hard things, very difficult things in this life. But I promise you, kid, no matter what it is, you can do it. Man, you me can't shivers. Do it. Yeah. So I stand on the shoulders of giants. Mm. And uh, even being here, uh, we, I was sitting down yesterday with Dr. Oz and Marie, and we were talking about the power of music and family and support. And I have a big family, but uh, I've, I've, I've come to learn that through, for example, MS, as I speak around, there's millions of people fighting that. My family's a lot bigger than it ever was. And we are all connected. We're, I believe we're all brothers and sisters, and, and we're all fighting a good fight. So be kind to everybody. Mm. Enjoy every moment. You never know what tomorrow's gonna hold. And it sounds like a bumper sticker, sounds like a cliche. <laughs> and I sound like Tony Robbins, <laughs> but, but it's true. Cliches it's, become cliches for a reason. Yeah, you know. But, but you know, if I can hedge my bet by trying to put a smile on and, and enjoy the moment, despite what is going on behind the scenes. Uh, if I, every neurologist has told me, Whoever has the positive disposition versus the negative, no matter what the diagnosis or the challenge, they always do better. So why can't I do everything in my power to help my kids' little wish and prayer come true? Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and that. it makes all the difference. Yeah. Oh, thank Fantastic. you for all your, all your work, all your light. Your whole family's you know, brought so much light into all of our lives. So Thank you very amazing. much. Yeah. Thanks so much. Well, but, thanks for letting me come in. Oh, and thanks, if you guys come it. to New York, you got to come get a pie in the face. <laughs> yes, I know. I've always wanted to slime. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, the, we, these guys, our team down at, at Wonder Woman, they have it in spades. They know how to make a mess. Oh, <laughs> amazing. Fantastic. Please tell everyone where they can watch Wonder Woman and find and follow your journey. It's today. syndicated across the country, so uh, it different different channels, different times, depending on what region you're in. So go to wonderamatv.com for times and locations. Uh, and also we're on uh, Amazon Prime as well, so you can stream it. And we're all connected. So check it out online, everywhere else. Uh, that, just like this platform, you can find it anywhere. Boom. Anywhere. Yeah. Thank, you, so Thank, Thank you, David. Thank you. Back with more on Good Morning La Land. Can you watch the stories of people changing the world? Ever Talk TV, the Netflix of talk. Tell me why I'm if you could describe the legacy you want to leave behind in a couple of words, what would it be? You know, the, the person who made a massive dent in the world of loneliness. You know, it's the number one health epidemic that we're facing in the world today. It's the number one predictor of our mortality. It's more likely to kill you than smoking, heart disease, traffic, the flu, sitting. And if I can make a dent in the world of loneliness, then that, that to me, is is everything no i love your message and i love your story and for you guys out there go download hey vina it's really really remarkable i downloaded it they ask questions that actually help target who you're looking for and who you're looking to network with and become friends with thank you if you like this please share it please comment it and thank you again for being here thank you for having me EverTalk is hashtag community powered, so we are excited to offer you a free 30-day subscription to explore the talk shows that will bring you timeless entertainment and evergreen conversations that will inspire, uplift, and empower you anytime, anywhere at EverTalk TV. Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La Land. We are here with Angel Conwell, and today we're celebrating a very special BET special airing tonight. Tonight. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, it's the BET Fights Cancer, BET Her Fights Cancer, Breast Cancer. So obviously this is a very important cause mm -hmm. for so many people. 
I, I, re I really don't know anyone that hasn't been affected by it mm. in some way, shape, or form. So just to bring awareness and, and just enlighten anybody who may be afraid or just needs more information. So tell us a little bit about the special itself, because I know there's some amazing performances. Yes, there are some really great performances. Um, my, but also, uh, my co-stars and I, we present. My uh, co-stars from Bigger on BET Plus, okay. so Tanisha Long and Rashida Crockett. We present together, and there are some amazing performances. I was brushing up, who, who, we have Ja'Kayla Carr. Oh, yeah. There's, yeah, and uh, Vanessa Bell Calloway gives her testimony because she went through mm. a, you know, a breast cancer situation. And yeah, so it's just a really inspiring show. I love really that. Inspiring. I love how um, you know, La La Land's really about the good, the good doers and people who really think infinite possibility. Yes. And we're really shining light on Hollywood and how yeah. there's a lot of parts of Hollywood people think of only just the reality and the chaos, but there's so many amazing people that come together. Yeah. So what was it particularly about this? this, you know, this message that was important for you? Well, I mean, you know, women in my family have gone through mm -hmm. the breast cancer struggle and journey. And, and honestly, anytime I feel like I can lend a helping hand or lend a smile or anything that I can do to help up uplift and inspire, I'm, I'm going to show up. I'll be there right. because I just realize how important it is. And I just understand that one person could see you smile, one person could hear you say a, a, an expi inspiring word, and it can make their day, you know? And I just don't take that for granted. Mm. So when they asked me to show up, I was definitely on a plane. Oh, no. just show fantastic. Up. Yeah. So whether it's been, you know, maybe a health challenge or personal professional challenge, who has been most inspiring to you and who uplifts you when you're going through tough times? Um, well, I, you know, well, besides my mom and God, my mom has the biggest, she just chooses joy. Yeah. She wakes up every day and she chooses joy. And so she's always been just very inspiring for me in that sense, because, you know, I, I definitely, I've had to learn balance. You know, it's, it's been important just in this industry. It's so chaotic, it can be so hectic. There can be, it, things can be questionable. You know, you're, you're kind of always in the dark a little bit. Not always, but you have to learn to accept the light and accept that you are the light. Uh, and so just going through that journey of figuring myself out and remaining calm during the chaos. But you know, Angel, so how important. did you specifically do that? Wow, it's it's a journey. It wasn't like one day I woke up and figured it out. I, I honestly, you I didn't had just to... trip on it. No, I didn't just <laughs> trip on it. Oh, there it is. All of a sudden, everything was great. You know, just it, it's an everyday choice. Again, I mean, even just through what I eat, what I you know allow myself to watch, even you know monitoring certain mm -hmm. social media, and just being very aware of what I, I allow in my life. You know, my my relationships. And I think sometimes we get so used to day to day life, we don't. We don't take the time to monitor what we're accepting and what we're tolerating and what works. And sometimes adjusting is necessary. And so um, around 30, because I'm 36, I'm proud 36. Yeah. You know, around 30, I realized that I needed to adjust some things. And I just feel so much lighter. And I'm on my way to feeling just very liberated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, it, but it's definitely a journey. We're, we're talking a little bit about goal diggers, which I know you can, you're on purpose, on purpose, on purpose. Yeah. Is there a specific thing in your art, in your, you know, beautiful, obviously you're gorgeous. Or just you're very talented. Thank you. Is there anything particular <laughs> why? What's your why? What's your why? why? And all those. You know, um, because I, I I want to show girls like me, young girls like me, that it can be done. Mm -hmm. It can be done. There's no cap. There's no limit to what is possible. And I'm from South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina. And not many people ventured into entertainment because it just seemed kind of like impossible. There just mm -hmm. there weren't many resources. And just to be able to get up and say, listen. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. it's, yeah, it's, good just, it's expansion mm -hmm. as well. So yeah. Well, thank you for being so authentic and really thank living you. your purpose. Please tell everyone where they can find and follow your personal yes. journey. Yes, Angel Conwell, A-N-G-E-L-L -L Conwell, C-O-N-W-E-L-L -L -L, on Instagram and Twitter and all those good social media networks. Right. And they can catch the special <laughs> in the show? The special BET Her is tonight, BET Fights Cancer and Bigger on BET Plus. Mm -hmm. And also Family Time on Bounce. Uh, we have a new show on every Thursday for BET. Uh, oh, all right. I'm really Check excited about the show. Yes, executive mm -hmm. produced by Will Packer and uh, Devon Shepard and Felicia Mary. Oh. Great show. I'm ex yes. I love it. It's great to love what you do. Thank oh. you. Congratulations. Stay Thank tuned. You. Back more with Good Morning Lala. <laughs> Where can you watch the stories of people changing the world? Ever Talk TV, the Netflix of talk. Welcome to the show. Today we have life master Tony Lanny. Oh, today we have a very special guest, Alon Torres. Today we have a very special guest, Mark Harari on the show and he is you you have really really inspired me because you really you walk the walk, you talk the talk. 
It's never too late, no matter what your age. It doesn't matter if you're young, it doesn't matter if you're older. You know, over the last 10 plus years, 12 years, it's been this journey where as I was continuing to help others, I was helping myself. Mm -hmm. You know, as I went deeper, I was able to bring people deeper. But you've got to put it aside. You've got to right, that's one of his tips is leave the oh, at uh -huh. the door. Drop it at the door. But we can't give you too many more uh, little tips because we're going to give away the whole thing. <laughs> but there is a yeah. video if you click below. I'm Life Master Tony Lanny. Yay! See how easy that was? <laughs> EverTalk is hashtag community powered, so we are excited to offer you a free 30-day subscription to explore the talk shows that will bring you timeless entertainment and evergreen conversations that will inspire, uplift, and empower you anytime, anywhere at EverTalk TV. Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Lala. On Wealth Wednesday, we're talking about wisdom, we're talking about gold diggers and having some life that is on purpose. So we have Donna D'Erico in the house. She is an actress, model, and but mostly you are an animal activist, activist and right. you have a great big gala coming up. I do, it's on Saturday. It's the 35th annual Last Chance for Animals Gala. And I'm, I'm receiving an award, I'm being honored um, at it at, for the Celebrity Activist of the Year. Oh, so exciting. So that. what put this purpose so strongly on your heart? I'm sorry? What put this so strongly on your heart? Why um, are you so You know, it's, I've been a lifelong advocate for animals ever since I grew, I grew up in southern Georgia. And I used to go in the woods and I was kind of a loner a little bit and my, the animals were my friends. And there were, I would get injured animals and nurse them back to health and that's what kind of sparked my interest in, in helping animals. And then that just graduated as I got older into, into more activism. Wow, so what, what do you do now? Like, what do you do with them now? I do, a lot, I engage in a lot of the protests, uh -huh. like anti-fur protests that we do on Black Friday um, every year, the day after Thanksgiving, and we do it on Rodeo Drive, we protest um, fur, and, and I also uh, am involved a lot with the dog meat festivals, we protest against that. Mm -hmm. The Yulene Dog Meat mm -hmm. Festival in Bocknall um, happens every year for a couple weeks, where it's, they celebrate you know, eating dog meat and cat meat. Mm. And so we protest against that, and I'm a big part of that as well. Mm. Do you remember what first falling in love with an animal? Like, what was your first animal that you really felt? A turtle. It? turtle. It was, actually, it was a tortoise. Yeah. It was a, box, a box turtle. And how old were you? Um, I must have been in third grade. Yeah. What was yeah. the turtle's name? Herbie. Herbie, of course. <laughs> of course. My yeah. heart. He escaped out of the cage. <laughs> I mean, then you went on to become one of the most iconic television actresses oh, of you. our time and really pursue Hollywood. But with fame and celebrity comes so much responsibility. It does. And you have to be careful with what you devote your time to and, and you know, open up your, your life to because people are paying attention and they want to copy you and, and you kind of lead them by example. So mm. I have to be very choosy. And there's a lot of animal activism organizations out there. So I had to be very selective and and carefully look into each one, and Last Chance for Animals is the only one that I'll give my time to because they they do the hard work. They're, they're not in it, not to say that the others are, but they're not in it for a profit. Mm -hmm. They're in it to actually make change to legislation. They go undercover and they do investigative work and expose to the public what's really going on, all these horrors that are happening uh, with animal abuse. And once there's, there's that, that's, once it's exposed and the public sees it, which you know, a lot of public doesn't know about this mm -hmm. animal abuse that's going on. But once they do, there's an outcry, and then they can change legislation, which is what Last Chance for Animals does. So, Donna, how can people get involved with Last Chance or okay. celebrate you and all of your work this Saturday at the gala? Um, you can go to, to it's lc4a.org. That's the Last Chance for Animals website. And I just want to, I also want to mention Chris DeRose, who's the founder of Last Chance for Animals. He's the one that got me involved in all this, and he's mm -hmm. just like the visionary and the champion. Wow. They're like the FBI of the animal world. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So um, yeah, Last Chance for Animals website, lc4a.org, lists tons of ways you can help and get involved. Mm -hmm. And how can people find and follow your journeys and all the amazing creative projects you're up to? Um, you can go to my social media. I'm on all of them except for Twitter. I don't, I don't I'm not a big fan of that. Know. Yeah. There's too much hate on no, there. I'm, I'm with you there. It's Twitter. a little Just tough. My Twitter. name is Donna yeah. Dierico, D O N N A D E R R I C O. Um, amazing. Thank yeah. you for all your work. Thanks for having Absolutely. me on. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Stay tuned. We're back tomorrow. Good morning, Lala Land.
Where can you watch the stories of people changing the world? EverTalk TV, the Netflix of talk. Evertalk is hashtag community powered, so we are excited to offer you a free 30-day subscription to explore the talk shows that will bring you timeless entertainment and evergreen conversations that will inspire, uplift, and empower you anytime, anywhere at Evertalk TV. Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La Land. We're here with possibly the two smartest girls mm. in the room, Muffy and Ariana, experts from the best ever trivia show. That's us. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> you are correct. But you're both experts who have had very successful runs. Who wants to be a millionaire? Jeopardy. Tell us a little bit about your personal journeys to creating this show. Oh, well, you know, I, I had been on, oh, gosh, I think I've been on four or five game shows. I kind of lost count. Uh, won some, lost some, um, but uh, happily I got to be recruited. I was originally going to try out as a contestant, and they said, Muffy, we've actually thought about you maybe being an expert. And I said, oh. Like you're going to pull that off? And, you, know, I, you know, there was uh, testing and auditioning and all that, and I, I made it on, and I'm just absolutely wow. thrilled to be part of it. Yeah, you know, I, I've always been a competitive person, an athletic person, so competing in trivia was a great way to kind of tap into those competitive and smart tendencies. And uh, yeah, I've been very lucky to get to compete on game shows as a contestant like Muffy, and then this year to try out for and, and be cast on Best Ever Trivia Show as an expert. Wow. So what would you say is your like best ever game show moment for yourself? Hmm. For me, it was winning $100,000. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right there. I mean, <laughs> it's in the head, and it came out, and it was money. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun when your brain wins you money. Uh, yes. For me, I think it was uh, getting Final Jeopardy right on my first College Jeopardy game and just the whew, the joy of feeling that and feeling like I had accomplished this huge trivia goal. Uh, it, it just, like it's a feeling you can't recreate. <laughs> you have to admit, like I watched the show and I'm like, I, I don't even know where you guys get, have this wisdom. It's amazing. I'm like, what? I, like, I can't even relate to the show sometimes because I'm like, I don't even know these, what yeah. they're talking about. Like, I don't about. understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, forget the answer. Yes. What's the question? <laughs> well, I think that's the beauty of trivia is that you oh. never know what you know and anything can be a trivia question. So I hope you'll keep watching. And, no, you know, I love something, it. Oh, I'm so it's why we love it. No, yeah, it's that something will come up and, yeah. and that's the answer right there. And not everybody knows everything. Right. So like, I always have the opportunity to learn something new and go, oh, and then you tuck it away in the back of your brain. Yeah. Okay, so I have a question for you because we sometimes you'll have those kids that have the mathematical like mm -hmm. common things. Because so we think it's maybe not even in their consciousness. It's something that we all have, which is infinite intelligence. Have you ever experienced where you have an answer and you don't even know where the oh, answer came yeah. from? Absolutely, yeah. Just something way back in the reaches of your memory, and and it's just there, and you can pull on it. Then there's the flip side where you think I absolutely know that, and it's not coming. So out. That has, that's what happens to me every time. I know this, but I really don't. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Or, or you think you, you either it doesn't come out, or you think you know it, and then it's you're way off. Yeah. But yeah, there are a couple things where I just like when I was on Teen Jeopardy <laughs> years ago. And, Last year. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was there were a couple where I, I just I rang in and I didn't know how I knew it, and I was just like, but I got it right, and I was like, oh, okay, let's keep going. So wow. they, we have two supernatural women on this. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. So, go ahead. Tell us a little bit about the show itself, the best ever trivia show. Sure. So it's three contestants who go up against three experts in a variety of topics. You have uh, three different rounds, and then whichever uh, of the contestants wins, 
goes up against the best of the experts for that game for like the final showdown to win up to $10,000. Mm -hmm. oh, super so, cool. In the first three rounds, the experts were there to show what we know. And if, if we get a question wrong, it actually benefits the contestants. They earn more points if we get it wrong. Of course, we're always oh. trying to get it right. <laughs> but then in that final round, like Muffy said, it becomes that head to head of uh, expert versus contestant. It's amazing. Oh. Have you discovered any like tips and tricks to becoming the trivia experts that you are? Do you sharp, how do you sharpen your tool and keep it yeah. sharp? And I think everybody yeah. learns in different ways. Yeah. And Muffy and I both work in education as our, as our outside of trivia uh, jobs. And so it's really fun to see how people learn. You know, for me, I do well with lists. I do really well with flashcards, like a lot of students do. But that's me. Everybody learns in slightly different ways. Or do I, you, I do well when I'm wrong, and then I get mad. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the anger that yeah. inspires yeah. you to learn, you to learn more. So do you find that you're like kind of on a roll sometimes, mm -hmm. and then you get way off of your game at times? And how does that work? Well, sometimes nerves, if you are wrong, and you yeah. think you know it, like you can get rattled, and mm -hmm. you have to sort of keep yourself calm. I mean, that's especially true in any game show scenario. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. So it's about knowing, yeah. about like commanding it in. Yeah. 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 yeah, and feeling really confident in what you know uh -huh. and not being afraid to say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for this and hopefully I get it. And then if you get it wrong, being able to kind of put it aside and move on to the next question because there's always yeah. going to be another question. And, and I mean, that's great life advice in general yes. beyond just being in a game show, especially for women to really be able to speak and celebrate their knowledge and their intelligence because for a long time, for generations, that wasn't really encouraged. And we still see that. Jeopardy, our, uh, trivia is still a pretty male-dominated game or field. And so I know Muffy and I both love being women who play trivia. We love getting to show what we know and hopefully inspire girls and other women to be proud of what they know and not be afraid to speak up and use their voice. That's fascinating. It's one of the things I love most about the, uh, the, you know, the show and also you women is that you're debunking this myth and stigma around women not being as smart, mm -hmm. right? And um, I wonder, you know, like to that end, as children, did you struggle with that at all where you just felt mm -hmm. like gender primed or... You know, um, I was actually lucky enough to go to an all-girls school that was very competitive. So being smart was, you know, being nerd had its own kind of cred. That was kind of my brand. Yeah. So that was something that I embraced you know, very early on. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I definitely remember times very early on where even other girls would say, why do you talk like that? Or why do you use such big words? And I was really lucky to grow up in a family that loved learning. And we loved talking about what, what books we'd, we'd read. And then going to a middle school and high school where similar to Muffy, learning stuff was considered to be really cool. Wow. So I think that really helped. But I see it with girls all the time that for whatever reason, as they get older, they start to feel like it's it, not OK to, to show what you know. And wow. I, I, don't want, I don't want that to be the case. Absolutely. Well, thank you for showing the world everything you two know. Please tell everyone where they can find and follow your personal journeys and watch the show. So you can watch the show every day on Game Show Network at 4 o'clock. We hope you'll tune in. Uh, you can find me on social media. My name, Ariana Hout. And uh, Year of Pancakes, if you're interested in what I've been doing oh, every it. day this year. And Muffy? <laughs> I'm Muffy Morocco. Uh, I'm on all the social medias. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the things. Thank I you, ladies, so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back with more on Good Morning Wildland. Can you watch the stories of people changing the world? Ever Talk TV, the Netflix of talk. Today I'm officially coming out of the closet as a mother. I've never publicly announced it. I've been a model for 15 years and now I'm finally letting people know I have two kids. I have a 16 year old son and my 13 year old son will be 14 in a, another month and a half. You know, obviously explaining that I have a 16 year old, people are gonna be like, wait, how old are you? <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm under 40, I'm, at, I'm 36. Okay, let's just get that out there. That's oh wow. Coming right. out of the closet again. You came out twice already yeah. today. I know, <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope that our viewers are watching this to realize that when you have a passion, and when it pays the bills and you can live a good life and provide for your children, there should be no shame in what you do. Right. I Ever Talk is hashtag community powered. So we are excited to offer you a free 30 day subscription to explore the talk shows that will bring you timeless entertainment and evergreen conversations that will inspire, uplift and empower you anytime, anywhere at Ever Talk TV. Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Lawland. On this hashtag Wealth Wednesday, there's no greater wealth than our health. We've got the CEO of Claris Health with us today, Talitha Phillips. Thank you so much for really bringing this health care system, really, to Los Angeles from 1976, right? Yeah, we were founded in 76. Tell yes. us a little bit about what you do and how it's so unique. 
Yeah, so Claris is a nonprofit. So we work um, primarily with pregnant women or those who think they might be pregnant and then families with kids zero to five. Mm. And that's what we've been doing since the 70s, but more recently just with all of the issues that are going on in our city with homelessness and trafficking and youth and foster care, uh, we've started thinking outside of the box in how to help women's health um, and just general health in our city. And so um, we're launching a mobile clinic. Mm -hmm. We're going into communities that either are hardest to reach or communities where individuals can't travel outside of their community or where they have a high mistrust of the medical community. So we are bringing the care to them. Wow, that is incredible. And you're having a gala to celebrate all of this this we weekend. Are. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, our gala, it's the City Lights fundraising gala at the Skirball. And we have about 650 people that will be there um, to celebrate, to learn, and also to tour our mobile clinic. So we just finished building it. It's a custom vehicle, and it'll be the first time that many of our supporters will see it and new people will get to walk through. And mm. Fantastic. Okay. Super important. I think, um, you know, there's so many countries that do have their medical system as is, is part of being a citizen of whatever country they are. And, and it's, it's kind of sad to think that people don't get the right care. It's imperative. And I do believe that we are in a big transition, obviously, in the medical field. But where do you see this going? Do you see it being like something that is just all different type of innovations that are going to begin to happen in the medical field? Or how do you... You know, it's, everything's shifting so much. Yeah, it is. It is. And I think, you know, we live in a city where, you know, we have really high infant mortality rates and maternal. We do? Yes, I mean, we this do. Is something I've never mm. heard. Mm. Yeah, specifically. Wow. So one of our clinics is in Inglewood, and we mm. serve more of a South LA community. And we know that the rates, for example, um, in South LA, women, 22% of women don't get prenatal care in the first trimester. Um, we know that the STD rates in LA County are higher than the national average and that women are um, contracting STDs at an even higher rate. So you hear things like that. We know that African American women are specifically the hardest hit with maternal death and, um, and, and infant mortality. And so we see that and we're looking at, you know, where is the system breaking down? You know, what can we do to help this? And a lot of it is that our approach isn't just medical. It's not just caring for the physical needs. We're really big on integrated care where we look at the emotional aspect mm -hmm. and um, the spiritual aspect if that's a part wow. of somebody and so we go in and we just want them first to know that they're loved right that they're cared for that we see you that we hear you um, i'm so glad that you bring this up because as a doctor of divinity working with you what i found is that past lives their trauma plays into a lot of the things and the lineage of a lot of the different demographics and stuff. So it's so fascinating that you bring this up. I think it's really great that you guys are looking at everything. Yeah, we are. We're looking it's at amazing. it and want them to feel comfortable. So part of the, you know, going to where they are just speaks volumes, mm -hmm. going in. So the first person they see is offering them coffee and a chance to just talk about how are you. And then we can get into, okay, what are your physical mm -hmm. needs? You know, how can we help you today? And we're partnering with, we're starting off with 27 different organizations in the area. So when we go in, we're working with homeless service providers or um, a food bank or a charter school. So we'll go in to an area that's already safe for them. And then they can come and get to know us, but then we can connect them to other community resources. And we know that the community of Los Angeles and Hollywood has really come to support you. We have a special message from Patricia Heaton. Claris has really opened my eyes to the amount of time and care and financial support that it takes to really be there for people in need. The people at Claris are on the ground day in and day out, and not just on the ground in California, but all over the United States and around the world, helping people. I see the dedication, I see the sacrifice, and it humbles me to watch the amount of selflessness and love that is poured into each and every client and their children and their spouse. Wow, just phenomenal. So I have a question, you know, uh, clearly you have this big, generous heart as does uh, the organization there. And I know that it can be a little tough because you're dealing with some really challenging issues mm. and themes um, around the country. Is it hard to bring positive energy and light, particularly in the face of something that is, feels so overwhelming mm. and so full of challenges? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have been there now for 18 years. Um, I have two kids of my own, and part of my goal in life is to instill this passion and this heart for my own kids. And so it's not a job that I can cut off at 5 o'clock. It's not a job that often cuts off at midnight. You know, they're middle of the night calls. Um, we go to Uganda, and I take my children, and I want them to see the world and the need. Um, but there is this this balance of knowing, okay, can we step away ever? Yeah. Can we, um, how do you keep helping when you wonder if you're making a difference, mm -hmm. right? The need is the Grand Canyon size and sometimes it does feel like a little drop. So but, please tell everyone where they can find, follow, and contribute so they can make a difference too with you. Yes, so we, Claris Health, we're on, um, somebody said all the socials, I think. <laughs> uh, and uh, personally, I'm Talitha J at Instagram if you wanna see my kids or follow along and some of the other passions yes. in my life. And um, yeah, or clarishealth.org is the website. Well, we're wishing you a beautiful event this weekend. Yeah. Congratulations. Stay tuned. We'll be back tomorrow. Good morning, Lawland. Where can you watch the stories of people changing the world? Ever Talk TV, the Netflix of talk. I'm Jez Moyer, the co founder and host of Ever Talk TV, and I am thrilled to introduce you to America's first live video streaming talk show network. We all crave connection. I'm a big fan of videoing a podcast. The impact that I'm having people on a podcast wow. is I'm having more impact on, on those people than I ever did in news. We want to be heard, but we also need to listen. Podcasts, I understand they are red hot. It's actually remarkable how scary to me podcasting is. Everybody should have a podcast. I really wondered why. I mean, we've been doing this for 12 years. Nobody has done this. Uh, in other arenas. We have to change the conversation to happiness over financial success. It was like, we have to, we have to. Honestly, it was meeting new people who had already heard about what we've done and thanking me for the contribution we're making to their lives. Oh, nice. Mm. This great. is what my purpose is. This is why I was born. Yeah. I think this is my first time my book's been up on TV. This is <laughs> you can binge watch. And binge watch. You can binge watch. And you can binge watch. Binge watch. Or you can binge watch. Please binge watch. You can binge watch. And binge them on EverTalk TV. Thanks for coming. Bye. Entertainment that will inspire, uplift, and empower you anytime, anywhere on EverTalk TV, your home for talk. Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Lalan on Wisdom Wednesday. If you want to age backwards, you might want to watch this amazing woman right here. We have Elizabeth Alfano in the house, Silver Chic Chef. Ah, uh, yes. It's going to show us how to get our protein through some plant-based food. Okay, so the last time I was here, you said, oh, I'm worried about going plant-based because where am I going to get my protein? So exactly. I have a breakfast. Are you worried about this as well? Oh, yeah. Well, I actually, I'm not vegan, but I still don't get enough protein. Oh, my word. Okay, so this breakfast has 20 gram, 19 to 20 grams of protein. You all can dig in all here right. if you'd like. Right. What is uh, it? Okay, so it's it's tofu, organic raw oats, hemp seeds, which everybody should have in their life, fresh raspberries, and date syrup. You might want to mix it up a little bit. Date syrup. Um, and then for those of you that say like, ooh, I want more than just protein. Can you see this on camera? Okay, yes. who doesn't love this? No butter. No sugar, no flour. And all carbs. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> but carbs that are good for you. So pumpkin, banana, raw oh. oats, raisins, coconuts. Wow. It's Come on, beautiful. Take one. It oh, looks delicious. Yes. Come on, everybody, dive in. I love that. Yeah. Thank you so much. No butter. No oil, no flour, no sugar. This wow. is so mm. la la land. So how can we make this tempting to the audience? I mean, because really, a lot of people would say, "Ooh, that's too healthy for me." <laughs> well, taste it. Yeah. You it's taste so it, rough. and let me know if you think it tastes too healthy. 
No, it's, it's, no sweet. it's so it's good. So good. It's, it's all natural and uh, yeah, it's just oh, wow. really healthy. Mm. So I try to make things that are, first of all, super simple. So all mm -hmm. the ingredients go in a bowl, you stir it, you pop it in the oven. Take a shower, get on with your life, you come back, you have muffins. Oh, wow. So really, it's <laughs> gotta be good. This is so That's good. I like I muffins all day long. <laughs> you know, but actually, it's very moist. What makes this so moist? I didn't overcook it. That's all. Wow. That's Just, simple. So let's talk about simple. hashtag wow. aging in reverse. Oh, I like this. Yes. Okay, so of course mm. we all want to keep our stress low and get sleep and don't hang out in the sun. And of course don't smoke. Okay, so we got the basics. But your body is only going to be as good to you as you are to it. So you really have to watch what you put in it. And I just feel as I get older, there are some benefits to getting older, but some aren't so nice to you. So you have to really pay attention to the quality of the things that you put in your body. So I never do dairy. I never do meat. And then to the extent that I can, you know, moonwalk it back, I do very little oil. Wow, so no oil, dairy, meat. That's like the most... For sure, no important. dairy, no meat. I, I don't want to consciously contribute to things that I know are not good for the planet and my health and... Um, then with oil, I just try to really keep it on a minimum. I was uh, watching a video and it was basically talking about the ways in which actually sugar is more easily processed than oil is. Is that true? Like sunflower oil and canola oil and all these things are much more difficult to process for the body? Um, yes, and, mm -hmm. and sugar, I just feel like, I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but it's like smack. Yeah. You have a little bit of sugar and I mean, it's very addictive. <laughs> oh, I have one bite I need to say. It's, <laughs> yes, it's, it's crack. It's are you smack kidding? crack. Yeah, yes. Oh. Like yes, which is why when I have sweets and you know, this is very sweet I really try to make it natural sweet so it's lower glycemic index mm -hmm. your body processes it longer you don't have those spikes that's what you crave same sort of with coffee you get this up and then you crash so you got to have more mm -hmm. so um, I know it's a little bit early but people might already be thinking candy for Halloween mm -hmm. lots of food for Thanksgiving and then I'm gonna go to town at Christmas so maybe you're already thinking uh, New Year's resolutions please go to my website, elizabethalfano.com, because I can help you make the transition. A lot of people need just a little bit of help figuring out how to work out the dairy and how to work out yeah. the food. Well, thank you so much, and for this delicious protein yes. breakfast. Get your protein. That's thank right. You so Stay much. tuned. Back with more Good Morning La Land. Yum. Is it okay? It's always this is so moist. So oh, great. I'm so glad it's you really like it. Welcome back to Good Morning Lawland. In honor of this spooky Halloween month, we've got Karen Strassman with us. She's guest starring in the new Creep Show, starring David Arquette. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I can't talk too much about my episode because it hasn't aired yet. It Which is very La La Land. The 24th <laughs> um, of October. What I can say is that this is, whole thing has been produced by Greg Nicotero, <laughs> who is the creator behind The Walking Dead. And um, it was directed, my episode, by John Harrison, mm. who did the original Creep Show in the 80s. He was the assistant director on that. And the effects are just fantastic. Um, and I got to work with David Arquette. Mm. And um, we were up uh, many days until about 4 o'clock in the morning, covered in blood. It was one of those shows where, you know, at 4 o'clock in the morning, and I didn't want to leave because it's just so much fun in the effects and very, very kitsch. They call it moral horror oh. because mm. the people who you most want to suffer do. Oh. And oh. I get to be one of those people, which is really fun. <laughs> um, I... I grew up being a very good girl and wanting to please people. And at this point in my career, 
I get to play a lot of sort of dark, shadowy, oh, yeah. evil people, and it's just, um, it's fun and freeing. To not have to, you know, push down your shadow and pretend you're, you know, everything's totally. good, but, mm. you know, there's all those different yeah. parts. So tell us a little bit about your journey to mm. become an actress. Um, I just wanted to do it ever since I was a little girl. Really? Mm -hmm. It was something I wanted to do, and I was in all my school plays and all of that, but I had a voice in my head saying that I wasn't good enough. Mm. People told me I wasn't pretty enough to be an actor. Mm. They told me I was too short. Um, and so I... Too short, that's something new. I know. Yeah, yeah, I think that's <laughs> the thing. Yeah. I was I, I, too tall. You know, <laughs> I, I think there's always too something to something. And, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't... I believed it. Yeah. You know, I believed it. And so I didn't pursue it for a while until I went to France. And I studied there and I became a dialect coach there. And I was working with French actors, coaching them to act in English. And um, I also a dialect coach, so I coach people in many accents. Um, and I was on set and a French director said, oh, little car, and we give her a role. So I started in French television. Oh, wow. And then I went to the French National Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, where the country actually pays their actors to go there. Wow. And I had my training in French. Incredible. And I came back Meant to the Meant to country. be. I, yeah, it just, not funny? it's funny, you know, I wanted it so badly and I didn't think it was possible and it happened anyway. Anyway. Because I, you know, I just kind of followed, well, I want to do this, well, let me go to France, well, let me take this job, well, you know. It's very so organic it's, in yeah, a way, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is, which is lovely that even though I didn't think it would happen, that it's... Destiny. Yeah. You've lent your voice to so many incredibly iconic projects as well, including video games. Mm. Can you speak to us a little bit about using your voice and, and just the power of really tapping into your truth in that? Um, a lot of it is play. And mm. I think a lot of it is being a kid again and just going, you know, uh, I'm a dwarf named um, Chromie on World of Warcraft. And, you know, just to find that inner dwarf inside oh, wow. you, and then she turns into a dragon, and she's very, very evil. <laughs> but, you know, just to find that. Wow. Um, and on demand, you can do it. That's <laughs> incredible. I love it. Yeah. Um, and I play in the new um, iteration of Resident Evil. I play Annette Birkin, who's an evil scientist, and we got to do motion capture. Um, you know, and you're covered with, in this black suit, and you're covered with all these receptors. And um, and then, you know, kind of finding out to her, she has a voice that's more similar to mine, but where does she come from? And also, how do you translate that, you know, mm -hmm. through your voice? Um, so when you're you know, doing that, are you visioning being that person, or are you, like, what is your tool? How do you to dial into that, that character? Yeah. Is there anything that's worked? I think in many ways, for voiceover, you go there in the same way that you go for on camera. Um, and you just imagine, but there's a lot more you have to imagine because you're not on set. So you have to imagine, you know, that, you know, you're talking to a monster or you have to imagine, you know, that you're in a countryside and you're about to enter a castle or you have to imagine, I played two fighting characters on Mortal Kombat, Melina and Katana. And, you know, you have to imagine that you're fighting and, mm -hmm. you know, Melina is much more like this. <laughs> She's got a deeper, more evil voice. <laughs> And you know, I kind of find that inside. Yeah, so you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of play. It's like, being, it's like being a kid in your backyard with a big branch and imagining it's a sword. And uh, you know, I just kind of so thing. love and admire your imagination. Karen. Yeah. Oh, thank thank you. you for sharing it with us. Please tell everyone where they can find and follow you and your next projects. You all can follow me on um, any social media. At my name. I'm very lucky to not have anybody else who has my name. So it's at Karen Strassman, www.karenstrassman.com, Facebook, Karen Strassman fan page. So great. Fantastic. And tune in to Creepy Show. And Creep Show, yes. the 24th yes. of October. Mm -hmm. Love them. Stay tuned, we'll be back tomorrow. Good morning, La Land. Where can you watch the stories of people changing the world? Ever Talk TV, the Netflix of talk. Hi everybody, I am so excited to have with me today Amanda Schoen, creator of Rivers 8, a luxury travel accessory line for those who crave luxury without cruelty. My next guest is Missy Reeves. You guys may know and love Missy from her very long career as Jennifer Horton on Days of Our Lives. Dan Holtz is a dear friend, co-founder of Beverly Hills Rejuvenation Center, and is known as the wellness expert to the stars.
Evertalk is hashtag community powered. So we are excited to offer you a free 30 day subscription to explore the talk shows that will bring you timeless entertainment and evergreen conversations that will inspire, uplift and empower you anytime, anywhere at Evertalk TV. Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La Land. In La Land, we're obsessed with beauty and cosmetics and all the above. It's Who so great. <laughs> beauty Kitchen is in the house. Heather Mariana, thank you so much for coming. And you're going to thank show you for us having some me. Ways we get to go to our own kitchen and yes, our own beauty products right there. Well, it falls upon us, you know. So everybody's doing pumpkin, everything, yes. right? So I just wanted to share some tips that are really easy. Um, so pumpkin is obviously the best base ingredient. Um, just use some organic pumpkin. Why is that? Why is the pumpkin so? Vitamin A, okay. vitamin D, zinc, uh, and the structure of pumpkin is actually the molecules are so much smaller than other fruits that it actually does penetrate into oh. the dermis of your skin. So wait, we're really? just like no. yes. pop it. Well, we'll <laughs> yeah. just put it on our face. Stick your head in a so pumpkin. I'm, <laughs> I'm tell you, yeah. So you can use pumpkin straight organic on your face. Okay. It's gonna tighten and tone your skin. It's really amazing. You can use it in your hair. Uh, with some honey, <laughs> right now. honey powder, yeah. honey powder, and that's what? to make your hair powder. shiny. Honey uh, powder. Yes, wow. instead of using actual honey, because how are you going to get that out of oh, your yeah. hair, right? It's true. Right. It's true. So honey's a natural honey humectant, powder. which means it actually takes the moisture from the air and puts it into your skin and your hair. Oh, okay. Wow. So the okay. more moisturized you are, the better you're going to look, right? Absolutely. That's why everybody is moisturized, moisturized. Well, <laughs> and it's so interesting, too, to have seasonal products because our skin yeah. does go through and experience different things throughout the season. Absolutely. Especially post-summer, fall pumpkin care. So yes. Very fitting. What's this? Um, we have a new fall bundle out. Um, that is our mini version of our pumpkin caramel latte lotion. Oh, I love it. And then this is it. our pumpkin scrub that we created, if you guys want to smell that. It's uh, yes. so amazing. Now, is that no. for the face or the body? Uh, face oh, and body. This is also our it. pumpkin mask. If you're too lazy <laughs> yeah. to make it, I've got you covered. You can buy it from us on beautykitchen.com. I'm definitely <laughs> too lazy to make it. Yeah. <laughs> Mariana, what I really adore and appreciate about you is that you find products that people already have in their kitchen. Yes. That they can utilize in ways they might not ever expect from yogurt to avocados. How did you build this business for yourself? I started in my kitchen, clearly, <laughs> beauty kitchen. <laughs> Actually. Obviously. Uh, just making products because uh, the clean beauty movement has, hadn't been really big at that time. This was seven years ago. I was sick of putting chemicals on my skin. I wasn't, I was getting acne, nothing was working. So I just started getting books and started reading online and became a certified herbalist and here I am. Wow. wow. <laughs> and here you are here with we all are. these products. I mean, it's yes. incredible though that, you know, talking about Wealth Wednesday, that you built this into a business for yourself. Yes. You took it yes. out of your kitchen yes. and onto the product shelves of so many people into the yep. gifting suites of Hollywood. Yeah, we've been everywhere. I mean, uh, every single gifting suite, our products have been featured on everything from Rural Housewives, a TV show, to Southern Charm, all those people use our products, yeah. So if you could share one full, like, go-to secret, is it the pumpkin, is it the honey? I would do pumpkin, honey powder, sugar, coconut oil, and use it as a body scrub. Ah, oh, love that. Yeah, it'll get all the dryness off you from winter. You're not going to need lotion after. It's going to be great. And there's many under eye patches you can possibly find. Yes, and I actually have coming. lids for this stuff, so you guys can take it home. Oh, thank you. I, I will do Use that it. tonight. Uh, but you also have eye patches. And yeah, for those these, of us who are on camera, you wake up with that under eye puffiness. Eye yeah, patches have these been are my range. favorite. So what is the secret behind these? Uh, micro collagen. Um, it's going to reduce puffiness. Mm -hmm. It's all the collagen. Mm. Just drink collagen. <laughs> yeah. <eat> collagen. <laughs> Bathe in it. Bathe in it. <laughs> oh yeah, you you should be drinking that. And the pills are great too. Um, green tea is going to is going to restrict you know your, your vessels, make your the puffiness go away. So these will probably be the best for you guys on TV. Mm -hmm. uh, coconut soothing. We have vitamin C. There's we've got maybe ten different types of. And you mentioned that you could put it over top your makeup. Yes, I do it all the time because I do a lot of morning news shows and sometimes you have to be there really early. So I'll get my makeup done, put it on top, it doesn't take your makeup off, and then you just do a little powder set and you're good. Wow. So you guys have to try these in between. That is great because yeah. you can get ready for work, put those on in the car, drive yourself That's what I do. whether it's the studio Starbucks drive through Hi! <laughs> <laughs> you want a pair? So I want all the pairs. So yeah. please tell everyone where they can find and follow Beauty Kitchen. Uh, beautykitchen.net. 
Easy enough. Okay. Yeah, Easy all enough. of our Instagram, yeah, everything's on there. Oh, Simple thank clean, you so much, products. Mariana. We appreciate you. I left you guys a bunch of stuff. Thank you. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> we are Good Morning La, La Land, America's first live streaming daily talk show, coming to you live Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. All of today's interviews are available as a podcast on iTunes, and the whole show is streaming on Evertalk TV, on Apple TV, and Roku. That's right. We're waking up the world together, you guys. Have a wonderful Wisdom Wednesday. It's going to be a good morning, La La Land. Oh.